Okay, this is what we got here. We got the uh, clutch installation there on the handlebar. And from there, the bike is upside down. It's actually like front side down. Um, here's the bike. And uh, this great divide, I looked it up online to be rated up to 270 or 275 pounds of weight. So it should be pretty good for what we need to do. And that's the, uh, the, the controller. Uh, as you have seen in part one and uh, it's all wired up and it's all going to control the motor which is marked mar it's mounted right here which is under the bike like if you look at the bike it would be like that so it's under the bike over there over the seat but the seat is still in the works so um, that's what we have and then we have this battery here which is a, a, a smaller battery. It's not a car battery like it was before. And uh, we're gonna try to rig this battery up and uh, just give it 12 volts to uh, see. We don't have the uh, 12 to 24 volt converter right now uh, installed. That would be the next step. So for now, just give it 12 volts and see how that reacts and how, how it moves the uh, motor. Okay, so here's the wiring. So uh, on the left side would be the uh, uh, three-phase uh, coming out and feeding the uh, motor. And on the right side, the white cables, well, one it's marked uh, with black marker, permanent marker. It's the uh, DC. Now we're feeding it 12 volts from right over here. Um, we got it wired up like that. And we got these two cables and we're going to connect this one. The yellow is negative. And the red would be the red would be positive right here, right? Okay, that would be positive right there. Here's the second battery. As uh, the first battery was not charged, this has got 12 volts there, as you can see on the meter, if you can see it. And uh, it's feeding into the rig. Now we got buttons on the other side of of that converter. So here's the rig powering the uh, wheel on 12 volts. The thing is, the clutch here needs a lot of adjustment right, right over there um, because it kind of doesn't disengage all the way. So I need to fine tune the mount, which right now is just a piece of wood, as you can see. But uh, so far it's turning it. And now we can modify the, uh, the speed here from the controller. And that will be the maximum speed. This is uh, without the load. We'll see once it gets on the road and I can rig everything to stay on the bike, how that's going to work together. But uh, here it is. And it slows down. And it's got the switch off and if I turn it on the problem is um, it doesn't have enough power to to get the bike going so I have to pedal first before um, to get to a certain speed so it does need help because if I stop it you it wouldn't turn the wheel even if I turn the uh, controller all the way up it would not turn the wheel from 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 uh, stopped, but if I give it a little bit of a of a help there, somehow it needs to be figured out what exactly is going on now. Anyway, so that's the uh, rigging on the no load test with 12 volts power instead of 24. So we'll see how it handles on the road. <laughs> 